Clubbers, a puzzle party with hundreds of thousands of colourful challenges, pinatas of knowledge and a party mix of jumbled letters to finish off the festivities. And bending some brilliant balloon animals, firstly, it's Lily, the very clever party fairy, Thinna. <laughs> Party fairy, what would you be called? Tweakerbell. Tweakerbell. Yes. <laughs> that is perfect. Actually, did you enjoy parties as a, as a little child? Oh, I loved all the little activities and balloons and clowns. Well, actually, I mean, it's a little bit like a party here, isn't it? You know, lots of activities. Yes. Maybe not the balloons, but we've certainly got clowns. No <laughs> problem at all. <laughs> Welcome, Lily. Thank you. And no party is complete without a bouncy jumping astol. <laughs> Yellow card on the pun, uh, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a party uh, person. I mean, what, what's your idea of the, the ideal party? Uh, I love a good theme. Uh, and in fact, uh, I organise a lot of uh, parties for my kids. And we've had some great themes over the years, from uh, James Bond to Dr Seuss. Uh, and, and you've kind of set them treasure hunts and things, haven't you? You know, not, not just in your place, but out and about. That's right, through the suburb or through the city. I love a good treasure hunt. Uh, I'm just priming them for one of those scavenger hunts at university, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Yes. Well, lots of partying tonight. <laughs> Welcome, David and yes. Lily. And hoping to take the cake tonight, our contestants. First up, our carryover champion, marketing specialist, Rob Fisher. Hello again, Rob. Hi. So, five nights. This is really good going. And uh, we were hearing last night about your capacity to be strategic in playing the game. But you even managed to be uh, a little bit strategic in a romantic sense when you proposed marriage. Now, what was your strategy there? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I applied a bit of creativity and I uh, had a slide made up uh, for the cinema and uh, booked some tickets at the Gold Lounge uh, cinema and um, before the movie started, a slide came up with some photos and it said, Suze, will you marry me? And down on one knee and luckily she said yes. Oh, fantastic. And what was the film? It was the world's fastest Indian, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, like a motorbike racing film? Yeah, it just happened to be what was showing at the time. I don't think you would have noticed the movie after that anyway, would you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Welcome back and good luck tonight. And tonight's challenger is taxi driver Joseph Liebhaber. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Richard. Now, you are very keen on, uh, on space. And would you actually like to travel there one day? No. No. I think robots should do that sort of thing. But when it comes to, to looking at, uh, at the stars, you enjoy astronomy? Yeah, uh, it's, it's a field that's changing. I just find it interesting keeping up with, you know, all the new discoveries. Uh, uh, just like when I was a small boy a long time ago, you know, uh, I learned about little picture books, what they knew about Mars and Venus. Really, nobody knew anything. And you know, since that time, we know so much. It's, it's just, and, and as time keeps going, they learn more and more. I, I think it's fascinating. It's a great adventure out there. It's a nice, great adventure here. So please welcome our carryover champion, Rob Fisher, and challenger, Joseph Liebhaber. <laughs> Let's begin proceedings as we do with our first letters game of the night. The aim, of course, to make the longest word possible from the selected letters. Rob, you must be getting really used to this. <laughs> yes, I'm slowly getting used to it. Hi, Lily. Hi, Rob. Can I start with a vowel, please? Sure. Let's start with you. A consonant? R. Another consonant? T. And another one? V. And one more? S. And a vowel? I. Another vowel? E. A consonant? C. And another consonant, please. And last letter, S. First thinking time. for the first letter tonight, Rob? I have a seven. And uh, Joseph? An eight. Sounds very good, but hang on to that for a sec. The seven first? Cruised. Cruised and your eight? Discurse. Discurse, could you spell it for us? D-I-S-C-U-R-S-E. 
What do you think, David? Uh, let's have a look. I'm uh, not too sure about that one, but I need to check. Discurse. Uh, discurse. Discursive, unfortunately. Uh, Joseph, not discurse uh, to itself. Discuss, of course, but not discurse. Uh, cruised, a uh, solid seven. Well done. Curtsies is a lovely eight there, but uh, those little bobs of, uh, of deference. Very nice find, David. And good start for Rob. Seven points. Next letters, and uh, your turn to choose, Joseph. Could I have a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with R. Another consonant? L. A vowel? I. Another vowel? E. A consonant? M. A vowel? O. A consonant? W. Another consonant? N. And a vowel. And to finish, A. Here's our clock. First, Rob? Mona. And yours, Joseph? Reloan. OK, we do need to check uh, ones that have re at the front, but uh, what do you think, David? And also those that have ER at the end. So, again, I'm uh, having to keep busy here. So let's have a look first for Mona, which I think is fine. M-O-A-N-E-R is, is good. And was it reloan? Reloan. OK. Unfortunately, Joseph, reloan is not here. Loner is here, but not reloan. So points to you, Rob. Well played. Now, I saw airmen here, Richard, and then there was a W-O left over. So I thought, well, air women, which is listed here for an eight. Ah, that's a nice find. Well done, David. Nice to check in the dictionary. And six points for Rob. Well, if you've been counting the moments until the numbers game, it's been good practice. And, Rob, now you are a determined tweaker. You said so last night, and uh, hopefully you'll demonstrate again tonight. Yeah, can I go with one large and five small, please, Lily? Thanks, Rob. One large and five small. And our number's eight, seven, one, nine, two. And the large is 75. The target to reach is 453. Can we get there? I did. 453 on the target? Yes. Very nice. And uh, Joseph? 453. Nicely done. So, Rob, what did you do? I had 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. Times 75 is 450. 450. Add the 2. Plus the 2. 452. And then uh, add 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8. 453. 1 gives you 453. Well done. So, nice work, Rob. No doubt about that one. You are there on the target. Now, Joseph, did you do it the same way? Exactly the same. Would you just verify with each other that you have taken the same route to that target? And uh, it was a good method, Lily. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. No change needed. Rob and Joseph, 10 points each. So, Joseph is on the scoreboard there with 10. Rob now 23. As we head for our first break, and your first word mix for tonight is Circa Pet. The clue 